Hey everyone, it's James Lambert, the motivational coach and speaker. I went from knockouts to knowledge and from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a more positive way. So hello to you, I hope you're absolutely thriving out there in every area of your life. And in this video, I want to share a beautiful piece of writing and it's entitled A Story That Could Be True. See what you think of it. If you were exchanged in the cradle and your real mother died without ever telling the story, then no one knows your name. And somewhere in the world, your father is lost and needs you, but you are far away. He can never find how true you are, how ready. When the great wind comes and the robberies of the rain, you stand in the corner shivering. The people who go by, you wonder at their calm. They miss the whisper that runs any day in your mind. Who are you really, wanderer? And the answer you have to give, no matter how dark and cold the world around you is, Maybe I'm a king. That was by William Stafford, a story that could be true. And this really, really intrigued me because you see, our self-identity, what we believe to be true about ourselves, in such a large part determines how we show up in life. So if we don't, speaking for myself again, when I didn't understand my value and importance, when I didn't realise the gifts that I have to give to the world, I used to treat myself first and foremost and then subsequently others terribly. I truly believed I haven't had no value and so of course it was nothing to, to smoke too much or drink too much or to literally treat yourself harshly because I now realise for me, I'm only talking for me, but in my life a lot of the fighting was my version of self-harm. I felt so terrible about myself that getting smacked in the face, fighting legally or otherwise, in the street, on the door, in the ring, it was a form of self-punishment. I just felt so bad about myself that getting others, I felt that I was worthless and so of course I'd be a human punch bag at times. And although initially sad, what's so beautiful about that is that if I can change from that that true sense of dread and hopelessness that I felt for years, that real terror, abject terror, the fear of just living, and I've turned that around. So you see, you can change anything in your life for the positive. But what, what's so important is that it was a belief, and that belief therefore came true. When I changed that belief, when I realized, I started thinking new things, thinking new thoughts, more positive. Lo and behold, my reality caught up with it. And so you see, who would you be if you didn't think, particularly we're talking about if they're unhelpful, the unhelpful thoughts, who would you be if, if you started thinking differently? You see, imagine that. Imagine if you were literally, literally born of a king. And yet, your personal history, you just weren't told about that. Or it had been forgotten. So there you are moping around in your current circumstances. You could think you're not worth much. You could think just because you live in the flat and haven't got a lot of money, you're not worth a lot. But by God, you're a king. You're a king. And so you see how you should carry yourself differently. If that changes things. So you're not a peasant. You're not someone lowly. You are someone of great importance. So hold your head up. Hold it up high. You know, push your chest out. Carry and conduct yourself accordingly. Change the story. It's a story that could be true. Why? Because you allow it to be so. You decide. This is the beautiful thing I realised. We get to decide what we think about ourselves. No matter what teachers may have said. No matter. I don't care about how, how many or how few GCSEs you got. Starting today, you change the story. And it could be true precisely because you make it so. You make it so. A few years ago, I decided that I would embark on this adventure, start working for myself, James Lambert Coaching, being a motivational speaker, coach and mentor to everyone, motivating others as I motivated myself, encouraging others, spreading hope, talking about the message of personal transformation, positive personal transformation, because I've done it myself. 
I've changed. I've changed a hell of a lot for the better. And you can too. And so I really encourage you in closing to think of yourself. What, what, how would you act? How would you act differently if you were really the son or the daughter of a billionaire? A king, a modern day king. And yeah, you might have just got swapped at birth or whatever. But just play with that story. If you are feeling down and despondent, if you are feeling depressed, if you are worried about a lack of finances, how would that change? You know, you could have an inheritance waiting for you of millions. And you have. For if you declare it to be so, talk it, speak it into existence. But first of all, believe it. Believe that you are worth something. You are of tremendous value, just as you are today. Really hope that encourages you today. And I hope you enjoyed that short piece of writing, a story that could be true by William Stafford. So as always, I hope you found great value in this video. Please like it if you have, share it and uh, comment. I love to hear your comments. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. That'd be much appreciated. And never, ever forget, you are unstoppable and I believe in you.